Hey, it's the one month anniversary, just a little bit after a month of uh, doing my uh, Nick D podcast, the Nick D podcast, the Radio Misfits podcast network. I couldn't be happier. And that's what this video is about. And I want to show you where I do my podcast. Uh, so let me uh, give you a little a tour of where the magic happens. I don't know if it's magic, but it's certainly a lot of fun. But anyway, uh, this video is to to mark uh, a big anniversary for me. I know it's only been one month, but it's only one month. Uh, it's the one month anniversary of the Nick D podcast, and I'm incredibly happy about it. And I just want to share that with you. So um, uh, let me show you where I do uh, my podcast, because it's really pretty spectacular. It's uh, at my stupid uh, dining room table in my stupid apartment. So here's a little glimpse at the magic. But before we glimpse at the magic, I just want to take this special uh, moment here uh, to thank Tom Hush. Uh, Tom Hush um, was the last producer that I worked with at my radio show on WGN. And he was one of the best producers I've ever worked with and has become a really good friend. Um, and I wanted to take this opportunity before I jump into all of this stuff to just take a special mention to Tom Hush. Tom um, encouraged me to do a podcast. He's done podcasts in the past. And um, we worked for a very brief time together under really horrible conditions. But um, I just wanted to thank Tom Hush. He came back uh, on the podcast um, as Slap Slapley, the British host of For the Record. And I want to thank Tom for doing that and being absolutely hilarious. It was magic when he came back and me and Esmeralda got to hang with him again. It was magic. It brought back incredible memories. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to single him out before I jump in and show you where I do my podcast and stuff. But a big, giant, massive thank you to Tom Hush who is now currently producing uh, the Bruce St. James Morning Show on WLS. And Bruce St. James, you're lucky to have him, dude. You are very lucky to have him. Um, and also to my old producer, Dan Chagru, who is one of the greatest people I've ever worked with. Um, uh, and so I wanted to thank those guys. And Tom was a guy that I had to work with under really horrible conditions. Um, and when I lost my job, I lost a uh, connection with Tom professionally. But he came back and he did slap slaply. So before I jump into showing you where I am and then doing the official video marking the occasion of the month anniversary, I just want to give a special shout out to Tom Hush because he deserves a special shout out. Tom, I love you, man. I really do. Thank you for coming back and agreeing to come back regularly on my podcast, on the Nick D podcast. Tom Hush, I love you, dude. And I just wanted to make sure that people knew that, that uh, a big thank you, a special shout out to Tom Hush. Okay, now let's see the magic. The incredible magic of where I do the Nick D podcast. It's my dining room. Okay, so this is where the magic happens right here. Yes, this is the magic place. There's Roy. And I have cheese balls. In case you want some cheese balls, I have some. There's my jag off button. This is where the magic happens. Yes. This is where I do my podcast. You are in my dining room at my dining room table. And this is where I do my podcast. Um, yes. Two days a week. It, it drops on Tuesdays and Fridays. And uh, I love doing it. And uh, I talk into that microphone. And uh, that uh, laptop is my device that I use. There are my headphones and my notes and all that cool stuff. My jag off button. Yeah, the jag off button. That was the jag off button. So that's it. That's, that's where I do my podcast. Um, and we started on January 18th, so it's been just a little bit over a month. We are 11 episodes in. Um, and I just wanted to take this opportunity. Um, I know it's only, you know, we're still in the infancy stages, and we've got a bunch of other stuff that we're planning on doing uh, in association with the podcast. There is a possibility that we'll be doing it more than just uh, two days a week. Um, it, it, we may have more episodes during the week. We're working on that right now. Um, but I just wanted to take this opportunity. Uh, to thank you if you are a subscriber to my podcast. If you're not, I hope you do. Radiomisfits.com is where you subscribe or subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. It's, on, it's available on every platform where you get podcasts. Um, and again, uh, new episodes drop every Tuesday and every Friday. Um, and it's similar to what I used to do on my WGN show, only it's uncensored. And I think it's a lot looser and we're having a lot of fun and having a lot of great guests. And we're going to continue to do so. It's just going to get better and better and better. And the product is going to get better. There will be more of it and more things to offer uh, you. But right out of the gate here, we've only done a month and we're 11 episodes in. And I can't tell you how much fun I'm having. This is the most fun I've had in a few, in a bunch of years, to be honest with you. Because that last year or so that I was at WGN was a nightmare. 
uh, an absolute nightmare because the biggest morons in the world now run that radio station. Um, it's horrible. It's a terrible, empty shell of what that radio station used to be. The people who run it, particularly one guy in particular, have absolutely no respect for the history of the, of the radio station. And it's embarrassing at this point. So for that last year, under a, a horrible, clueless, idiotic regime, uh, I had a nightmare time doing my the last year of my show under clueless management and uh, under COVID conditions. It was terrible. Then I took some time off. I had a really bad personal uh, experience after being let go from a job I had for over 35 years. And this podcast came up at the right time. I took a time off. I took over a year, year and a half off, stayed out of the public eye, didn't really do anything, posted stuff on uh, on you know, on, 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 on social media. Then I started doing videos on YouTube and Patreon and stuff. And then that led me to hooking up with Ed uh, at uh, Radio Misfits uh, Podcast Network. Um, and that's when we started the podcast. We agreed. We got along. I had one meeting with the guy. And it's interesting because you ever meet someone and, like, within 15 minutes know, yeah, 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 this is going to work. That's what happened with Ed. That's what happened with Ed from Radio Misfits, uh, uh, Radio Misfits Network. Um, we met one time. Uh, we sat around and we talked for a couple hours. And after that one conversation, we started the podcast. And I couldn't do it without Ed. Ed and everybody at Radio Misfits Podcast Network uh, helping me out with uh, the gear and the equipment, teaching me how to do it. I'd never done a podcast before in my life. And now I feel like an ex- I'm an expert, you know. Um, and uh, I-, I do it from-, from my dining room, as you saw. So it's in my apartment. It's all, you know, DIY stuff, man. I mean, I'm basically doing this all on my own with uh, post-production help and ideas and technical support from Ed at Radio Misfits. But booking the guests, doing the show itself, recording it, sound, all of that stuff, uh, the stuff that engineers used to do, the stuff that producers used to do, I'm now doing it. It's just me in my dining room doing a podcast which essentially is like me without all the help that i used to get from engineers and sales department and and and, uh and producers it's been a learning experience i gotta say it's been a really learning experience and a fucking great experience uh and with all the support that i've been getting from radio misfits and ed uh we've been able to do great shows i am unbelievably proud of every single of the 11 episodes that we've done so far of the nick d podcast and many 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 more to come but i just wanted to take this opportunity on this anniversary To say that I know it doesn't seem like a big deal to a lot of people. This is a big deal to me. To get back into it. To get back into communicating. um, To get back into doing what I love. Which was just taken away from me. From from people that had no idea what they're doing. And still have no idea what they're doing. Um, And uh, and to take 35 years of my life and just erase it. uh, Just like that. And and the people that did it to me. Particularly one guy. um, Who wouldn't know good radio if it came up and spit in his face. Uh, This is the guy that took it all away from me. And so I had a hard time for a year and a half uh, dealing with it. But now I'm back and I'm doing what I want to do and I'm doing it in a way that I want to do it. I have no clueless idiot management to tell me what to do and what not to do. And during the last year of my radio show, I was told to change everything. It was a nightmare. I have none of that anymore. Nobody is telling me what to do. I have no fucking boss. I can say what I want, when I want, who I want on the show and do what I want to do on my podcast. Ed uh, at Radio Misfits Podcast Network has is is never more than supportive and does does so much stuff and I feel freedom and I feel great and I haven't felt this good in years. So I know it's only been going for a month. I know it's relatively new in the world of podcasts, but apparently we have a lot of great response. We have a lot of subscribers, and I just wanted to celebrate a month of doing my podcast. Um, I started out my first podcast. My get, my very first guest was Rich Coe's Sven Gulli. Incredibly special to have him be the first guy to support me in this new juncture and a new thing that I'd never, ever done before. You know, uh, I I was, you know, really kind of nervous about it. Can I do a podcast? It's different than a radio show. I don't have a producer, an engineer. I don't have a sales department. I got to do it all myself after all these years and after a really terrible two years of my life. Can I do this? And to have Rich be the first guy to come on. And also, I had him on as my first guest as kind of an FU to the people at WGN, one idiot in particular who actually banned Rich from WGN. Like, he can't be on WGN. Can't have Sven Gulli, no mention of Sven Gulli, no mention of Rich. He's been banned. So my first guest had to be Rich, not only because he's awesome and it would be the great first guest that I could have, but also like, hey, WGN, hey, moron in charge, you can't tell me that I can't have Rich Coe's on my show anymore. 
So, so my thanks to Rich Coase for an unbelievable first show. My thanks to Tony Fitzpatrick, my old friend, who came out immediately and said, anytime I want to have him on the show, a great guy, a great radio guy, an incredible artist, a great writer, and a truly, truly good friend. And uh, again, I had a show with, I had, a, had an episode where Tony was the, ep was the uh, guest, and it was absolutely great. And we had a wonderful time, and he'll do it again. Uh, Keith Lipinski, my old buddy from Simons, who is an, a, a pro wrestling uh, expert, works with AAW, a really great uh, league of wrestling here in Chicago. He's a wrestling expert. We had him on uh, to talk about uh, uh, wrestling. Uh, my, my, my old buddies, uh, Tom Appel, who is my car expert from Consumer Guide Automotive, and Herb Weisbaum, who is my consumer guy from ConsumerMan.com and Checkbook.org. Uh, Tom and Herb were regular uh, uh, guests on my old WGN show. They would appear every uh, once a month to talk about cars, in Tom's case, to answer any and all of your questions about automobiles and cars, and to answer any and all of your questions about consumer issues with Herb. You know, don't get ripped off, keep your money safe. Herb and Tom are two of my favorite people in the world, and they said yes, immediately said yes, that they would be a monthly guest on my podcast. And they have, and we did our first uh, podcast with them. Every first Tuesday of the month is For the People with Tom Appel and Herb Weisbaum, my guys, and uh, car and, and, and consumer guys. They said yes immediately, and we had a great time doing that show. Uh, Nathan Rabin, who is a terrific writer who used to be here in Chicago writing for The Onion and for the AV Club, has written a lot of great pop culture books. He was on the podcast. Um, and then, of course, my old friend Dan Feinberg. He's on every other week talking TV. He writes for The Hollywood Reporter and The Fine Print. He was a regular guest. Uh, every couple of weeks to talk television and, and all that and all of those things on my uh, show. He immediately said, yes, I will do the podcast. I've recorded a couple of shows with Dan, and he is a regular uh, guest uh, to talk about TV every two weeks. So I want to thank Dan. My old buddies, Eric Childress and Steve Procopi, film critics that I've known forever. Uh, Eric with um, eFilmCritic.com and Steve with the Music Box Theater and Third Coast Reviews. They join me every two weeks to talk about all the new movies, review movies, and talk trends. And again, anything we want to talk about movie-wise, we can. By the way, I was told never to talk about movies on my show at one point at, by the geniuses in charge at WGN. But they're back, and I want to thank Eric and, uh, and, and Steve for, for, for being there. Uh, the, 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 I, I want to thank all of these people who we've done all these great episodes, 11 episodes so far. The last episode, which was actually at this moment, was, was posted today online at RadioMisfits.com, wherever you get your podcast. The guest was Dana DiLorenzo. Now, uh, if, you, if you know me at all, you know how much I love Dana DiLorenzo. She is a terrific actress, spent a lot of time here in Chicago. She's funny. She studied improv. She's a great actress. Uh, I've met her several times. We've become very close, um, and she is my, she is my future ex-wife, as some people might know. A terrific actress, best known as Kelly Maxwell, on the fantastic horror comedy series Ash vs. Evil Dead. And we recorded a podcast, uh, and, and uh, she appeared as a guest, and she will be a regular guest on my show. Um, and she's one of my favorite people in the world. And uh, the podcast was a blast. It was uncensored because Dana and I kind of talk like uh, sailors when we want to when we're together. But to have Dana DiLorenzo on the show, uh, on the podcast, really means, okay, that's it. This is, like, this is the deal. Uh, and I want to thank Dana for being such a special guest and coming back. Um, and all that stuff. So all the regular people who have come back and all the regular guests and the 11 episodes that we've done. But most of all, I want to thank Esmeralda Leon, um, who I, I don't think I could do this. I know I couldn't do it without her. Uh, she's an incredibly important person to me and to my life and especially to the latter part of my career. Um, she became the traffic person on my overnight show, but she was so much more than just a fucking traffic person. She was a key component to why the show was so good. I love Esmeralda. And she immediately, without hesitation, you know, I was like, hey, I can't pay you. We're going to be doing this from our apartments. It's a podcast. Maybe at some point, you know, we could earn a little money doing it. But at this point, we're just doing it to do it because we love to do it. And Esmeralda, without hesitation, said, I don't care how many days a week it is. You can count on me. And she's on with me every episode. And uh, we talk and we chat. We talk about topics and we have a lot of fun. Esmeralda Leon is one of my favorite people on earth, and I truly wouldn't be able to do it without her, and I am so thankful that she said, yes, I will do this podcast with you. Um, so my, huge, my biggest thanks is to Esmeralda Leon, and my thanks to everybody else and all the regular guests. 
Um, and, and a big thanks, of course, obviously, to Ed. Some of the stuff is coming up, and I thank you. I, I have to thank you. If you're a subscriber, it means the world to me. Please tell your friends to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and, and download and listen. And, and please give us feedback, rate, review. Check us out. We want to only make it better, and we want so many people to listen. We want a ton of listeners, so please subscribe if you haven't. Coming up, we're going to be talking with some of my old regular guests. Dick DiBartolo from Mad Magazine is going to be joining us. Josh Robert Thompson, who was on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. That is Jeffrey Peterson, the gay robot skeleton sidekick. He's an amazing guy. Also knows Danny DiLorenzo very well. He's going to be on the show. Um, we are, are uh, going to have Stephen Tobolowski, one of the greatest character actors of all time from Groundhog Day, an old friend of the show. He's going to be back on the podcast. Nell Minow, the movie mom, is going to come back. Amy Guth and Steve Cochran and some of my other old WGN cohorts are going to be on. Um, Dan Epstein, a fantastic writer and a really cool cat who wrote some great books about baseball and one of my favorite people. And we're just going to talk, get him on, talk about baseball, talk about anything. So Dan Epstein, Mike and Mia Kerr's from the Flashback Convention and the Midway Drive-In. Drive-In season is coming up in May. We're going to be talking about that a lot. I think I'm going to be doing some uh, personal appearances in regards to that. And Mike and Mia are amazing, and I want to thank them for their support as well. I missed Flashback Weekend, which is the convent, the horror convention that they that they, that they put on every year. I missed it this past year. I needed some time off. I needed to be away, but I'm coming back this year. And not only am I going to pick up my old duties as a host and doing panel discussions and you know all that stuff and doing everything that I normally do, but uh, Mike and Mia said that I could do a live podcast from the Flashback Horror Convention, and that's in August. Flashback Horror Convention. Robert England is already going to be there. Uh, PJ Souls from Halloween is going to be there. Heather Landenkamp is going to be there. And that's just the, chip, the tip of the iceberg of all the amazing horror guests that Mike and Mia Kerr's always bring out for the Flashback Weekend. And in, in addition to my regular duties, they're like, yes, please do the Nick D podcast live from the Flashback Weekend. So I'm going to be doing a live podcast from there. Um, and I also want to thank George Karzis. George Karzis is the owner of the Gale Street Inn. One of my greatest friends, one of my best supporters, one of the most faithful advertisers that were that would ever be a part of my radio show. He sponsored a bunch of stuff that I did. He was always supportive behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, in every possible way. And he's been incredibly helpful and supportive in the launch of my podcast. Wouldn't be able to do the Nick D podcast without the help and the support of the one and only George Karzis galestreet.com it's the greatest restaurant on the planet i've said it a million times it's in jefferson park best ribs you'll ever had some of the best food that you'll ever have in your life and george is not only one of the nicest and most supportive gentlemen that you will ever meet but he runs the best restaurant ever and he's a fucking great guy and and the nick d podcast would not be happening were it not for the help of george Karzis. and i wanted to publicly thank him and to tell everybody who's watching this get your ass to the gale street inn in jefferson park have a great meal. Have some ribs. Go to galestreet.com for all the information. And again, another great guy. George said that I could do live podcasts from his establishment. So in the future, look for live podcasts at different places. It's already been nailed down. We're going to be doing live podcasts at the Gale Street Inn in Jefferson Park. Thank you, George. And we're going to be doing live podcasts this summer, August 5th through the 7th, at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare during the Flashback Weekend, the Flashback Horror Convention. So live podcasts. Other things are in, the, in, in development. It's only been a month, but I just wanted to take this moment to say thank you. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal. 11 episodes, okay. That's infancy in the world of podcasts. But at a time when I got fired, I thought I'd never do it again. I thought my life was over. Um, I, I, I thought that, uh, that, I, that it was done. That all my years you know, in broadcasting and all the radios was completely cut off by... Uh, these complete morons who have no idea what they're doing at WGN. I thought that they were going to end. I thought that this guy in particular, that was it. But I wanted to prove them wrong. And it took me a long time to get back on my feet. I had some personal issues. Um, and, and once I started to feel myself getting better, I'm back at it. So if you're a fan of mine, first of all, fucking thank you so much. Please subscribe to the podcast if you haven't. But I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Thank you to everyone who has contributed to the Nick D podcast. Thank you to everyone at radiomisfits.com uh, uh, and Radio Misfits Podcast Network, especially Ed, um, and everybody who has supported me uh, over this past time and all the people that, that have contributed. It's going to continue. We're going to do it twice a week, uh, continue to do it twice a week, maybe more as time goes on. Um, we have guests lined up, topics lined up, 
all kinds of cool stuff. Esmeralda is my partner and she's going to be on every episode. So it's going to continue and it's only going to get better and better and better. And the reason this is happening is because of the people that I just thanked and because of you. So it's a month anniversary. It's a big deal to me. This is a big, big fucking deal to me. Um, it's kind of a life changer. And I have a goal now and I've never been happier. I haven't been this happy in maybe three years. So anyway, might seem like a big, not, not a big deal. And I'm sorry if, you know, it's not that big a deal. This is a big, big fucking deal to me. So all I wanted to say is thank you. The Nick D podcast will continue. And I hope that you subscribe and I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Have a great night.